Sacrament's gates are always open to those in need, or those who keep her safe. Help yourself to our food and shelter. But leave the ale to me. <laughs> the Watcher waits for you in the rookery. You heard the governor. Head to the rookery. Make sure to get a good scrubbing after wading through the glades. Wouldn't want to end up all rotted away like them neath. And is that sand on your legs? Came all the way here from the shallows in this weather? Can't say if you're brave or just foolhardy, but you won't catch me being either. <laughs> the rookery sits above the town square. Just follow the signs. Oh, God's reach, what now? Me inn's nothing but cinders, and me husband went venturing down to the shallows and never returned. Oh, but no. That ain't enough suffering to put on these shoulders. Now I've got to deal with some outsider trampling over my livelihood. <sighs> Can you rebuild me tavern? <sighs> Can you find that suit for Brain's Kooka married? No? Well, in that case, we got doors on all sides now. <laughs> Kindly choose one. First the tavern. Oh, troublemaker, that's what you are. You like them Dasher, or the governor's daughter. Why can't the lot of you just be civil? One god, one king, simple as that. Oh, my Gordon's a simple man. Knows his way around the kitchen and <laughs> nowhere else. I told him, go and fetch us a load of clams from the coast, down by the old keep. Simple, eh? Knowing him, he probably got carried out with the tide. No hot meals without me Gordon, and no warm beds without me inn. But let me know if you're looking for cold porridge and a mattress of dirt. <laughs> Help! Up here! I'm up on the top of the old God's reach! Finally someone heard! I was out fishing for clams when a pack of the Risen came through. I thought I could make my way across the old bridge and out the other side of Mariner's Keep. But this fort's in worse shape than I am. The board's rotted out behind me, and the ladder ahead is pulled up. <laughs> Last time I tried to be clever. Please, see if you can find another way around before I end up like that poor sod over there. You can make that jump, but I'd need to drop a few decades and a few stone to do so. <laughs> Can you find a way around? Don't want to end up another corpse. I came here to fish crabs, not feed them. Kick down the ladder! Huh? You have my thanks, traveler. Any more time stranded up here and I'd be eating my shoes. Wife's gonna kill me. I think I'll keep this between us, if that's alright with you. I know Caroline sees me as the heroic sort. Wouldn't want to dispel her of that notion. <laughs> Oh, I'll clamber over the bridge, but not with you, Boxy. That particular show won't have an audience. The secret to a good meal, a bit of love, a bit of patience, and enough butter to kill a horse. <laughs> My wife Caroline runs the inn. She keeps me warm, I keep her fat. It's true love. I stink of meat, my wife of ale, and our bedroom smells like a stew. <laughs> My Gordon found his way home. No thanks to you. Other husbands wander in, stinking of cheap perfume. Mine comes home smelling of cheese and jam! <laughs> so you're a ceremony? No, I don't know much about your kind, but I know you're not from around here. As long as you're not Dasher, you're welcome in my inn. Oh, well, what's left of it anyway? I've been trying to get that maker Danos to help me repair it for weeks. But everyone in this city's bloody useless. <sighs> oh, well. I suppose you're no different than the rest. At least my Gordon's got a nice soft belly for me to rest my head on. <laughs> I wish I could offer you a bed for the night, Serum. But until this place is rebuilt, you're better off elsewhere. Even under the rookery. Every meal a feast. Oh, it's you again. My thanks, friend, for keeping our little adventure between us. Eh? My wife thinks you serum are some kind of heathen troublemakers. <laughs> but you don't seem so bad to me. Just another empty belly wishing it was filled. <sighs> Better here than back in Teal. Scraped together enough last year to move from Teal to Sacrament, and I've never looked back. 
I worked six years in the mines of Lower Tier. Would have seen more sunlight in a coffin. In Tier, you're either freezing your balls off or your ass is in fire. <laughs> Trust me, there's no in between. Are you feeling ill, stranger? If my patients want the comfort of a prayer, who am I to deny them such frivolities? I've never seen symptoms like it, and I can discern no pattern to its spread. But I do what I can to ease their pain. I can't say I buy into all this mystical claptrap, but there's certainly a plague afoot. I fear Kaelin lost to the sickness, but I haven't given up hope for the rest of our fair isle. Oi! Traveler! Have you been to the Dusty Loom? I mean, before she burned down. She was the finest tavern on Sacra. Caroline's saving me table, I know. Just until she has enough coppers to rebuild her. She'll be any day now. Say, do you like, I could sing you a song. It goes like this. <gasps> Never wanted to see it. You hacked your way to our gates without a moment's thought. Our hero, everyone! Our hero has come! Butchering their way through what's left of our friends, our family, our children. You think you know the plague? Are you the one who will save us all? I've seen what the plague does. I've watched it take everything I've ever loved. And then crack its flesh open and smile at me. Have you looked into the eyes of your beloved as his face turned inside out and his eyes were pulled down into his throat? You don't know what the pestilence is. You're a child playing in the sand, making up stories. outside the city, but... Well done, Sarah. That was a mighty battle you fought to get here. I saw the whole thing. You should be proud. But there's another battle raging inside the city. Against a beast with no face. It cannot be killed. Save her. Have you heard of it? It's choking the life from Sacrament as we speak. And no one can stop it. Captain Randolph gave me a second chance. He put a spear in my hand. I shall always defend him and Sacrament. I went from a saver addict in the gutter to a guard on the line. If I can find salvation, anyone can. Once I condemned the saver addicts, then I joined them. Now I simply pity them. Saver feels like a kiss from an angel, but its joy is a lie. Duty, honor, family. Those are true. Do you know any of Sacrament's guards, by chance? I think they'd like to meet me. I have a lot to offer. I came here on a ship from the mainland. Not as a passenger, mind you. I rode with the goats below decks. But I didn't mind a bit. I heard you met Ellsworth. People say a lot of things about him, but... I think he's the best leader in the whole realm. One day... I'll be up on that wall, scanning the horizon, protecting the city, and maybe I'll even get to shake the governor's hand. I used to paint in the woods outside the city's walls. The Marin Forest. What a place. What a, what a haven of beauty. Inspiration is like water snaking its way across the dirt. It knows not where it goes, but... Where it goes is always right. It's safer to paint inside the city now. No deviant fowl here. No feathered men. No. None at all. Hello, traveler. Yes, you may look upon my work. But it is not finished yet. It is never finished. You'll never see me grappling with the tone. Oh, what a mess that was. I saw you flailing and sweating down there against that demon earlier. Why put yourself through it, Selim? Stay here, inside Sacrament's walls. I wouldn't square off against a beast like that for a thousand silver. Glory? Oof. It's overrated. 
Mother convinced me to join the guard, said I'd see the world. All I see is the back of a stone wall. Mother said women love the men in uniform. I think she just wanted me out of the house. Make a man of yourself, she said. Say, stranger, any interest in signing up? It's a great job. And if I recruit a new soldier, they might let me quit. This pike is heavy. My boots are itchy. And my meal isn't for hours. I should never have taken the oath. Every day, another farmer or merchant heads out these gates and doesn't come back through them. Sometimes we find a body. Sometimes nothing. Sometimes something worse comes shambling back. When's Ellsworth going to take action? I'd retake the wild, take on the plague. If only he gave the word. What do I do? I stand here. I'm no soldier. I'm an auditor. I just count those who don't return. The Risen won't be far behind. Good for you. You brought down that monster that's been stalking our gate. But at least that thing was keeping the Risen at bay. Now they'll bring Sacrament's doom, mark my words. Elsworth's too soft on all of it. The plague, the criminals, the Dasha. If I was in charge, I'd set things right. Maybe the Dasha bring pestilence, maybe not. But they certainly bring their stink, their dirt, their heathen pieties. Gates only work when they're shut. And if you're outside when they do, then you're not my problem. I can't believe Ellsworth takes counsel from one of Tyr's highborn sons, pretending he's one of us. And people ask why I'm leaving. That beast nearly made it past our gates before you put it out of its misery. Only a matter of time before something worse comes creeping. I'm getting off Sacra, while I still draw breath. Once I'm on the mainland, I'll be a new me. <laughs> Perhaps even a new name. Say, um, I'm a minor gentry from Tanth. No, Willowary. Put aside half my copper each month till I have enough to book passage. <laughs> Leave this island behind me. I hear the towers in the city of Phelan block out the sun, and the port's thick with ships from every corner of that empire. I have a cousin stationed in the palace on the mainland says he can get me a job. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> me, amid all the splendor. It just takes practice. Here, can you place this one? That's one of my favorites. See if you can follow along. Last year was better than this, but still shite. I had one pumpkin out of 14 survive. Do you believe that? 825. Interesting year. Eh? Back when I first moved to Sacrament, there's no rain for four months. Could barely get a hoe in the ground. Don't expect these crops to yield much more than turnips. Maybe the radishes will pull through. Shite year all around, though. 8.33. Now that was a good year. Rain just right. And the gophers were all over at Farmer Coros. <laughs> I made a mince pie that year. Have you seen the sand ships of the far north? the falling deserts beyond the sea? Please, I must know if they're real. Personally, I believe all the legends are true, and you're the walking testament. Uh, uh, may I touch you? I heard there are giants in Girinoth. Real giants that scrape the treetops with their fingers. That can't be true, can it? Your kind come from over the horizon, don't they? Have you seen the far lands with your own eyes? Skin. Bastards always nibble and never biting. I fucking hate fish. But I can't hunt for shit and I can't farm, so... Here we are. Once old up a fish with a drowned cat in its belly. 
Guess what was in the cat's belly? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> Another <today>? fish. <laughs> Wife says my breath always reeks of fish guts. But what's her excuse? Ah, uh, some days they won't even touch a lure or hook, but stick your toe in the water and num 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 num. <laughs> Those rags are wearing all fit for the fire. Mary Meet about in Mary weather. Taylor's at, at your service. service. Mary, we agreed. My name goes first. No, 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 Mira. I remember we decided I go first. Fine. Fine. We'll settle this later. this later. Can you tell one of us from the other, Serum? If so, you're better than our father. We were born behind these walls, and we'll pass behind them. They tell us Sakura's just a corner of the world, but it's our corner. Between the two of us, we got two husbands, eight children, and four chickens. And they're all hers. Everything is a price. Every man is a cost. Oh, ignore their gates, Serum. They likely never seen one of your kind. I, on the other hand, have met six Serum. Five? Six? Ah, many. I've witnessed the sea births of the Kylish people to the south. And all those northern cities that sail across the sands. I once drank from the water pooled in a giant's footstep. And I've supped wine with Phelan's finest. You and I, we're travelers. You know what they say about giving off women? Down there. <laughs> well, it's not true. I must admit, I've been waylaid on this humble island. Longer than I'd like, but... When the wind stole, the purse feels, hmm? <laughs> I should write that down. See this scar? Pirate attack while crossing the Ashen Sea. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all drinking friends now. It's the serum. Here, over here. Is it really true you killed the creature at the gate? A serum and sacrament, and my smithy no less. Well, Fillmore smithy. I I'm just his apprentice, Will. Wait, Fillmore. On your way to Sacrament, did you encounter a blacksmith? He went out beyond the wall and hasn't come back. I hope he's all right. Oh, thank you. That's a weight off my mind. Not quite ready to man the forge on my own. I expect he'll be back soon now that you've cleared the way. And likely telling me that he cleared the way for you. Rossa Twin, that's Dasha for welcome and safe travels. I... I shouldn't keep you. I'd venture you're on your way to the rookery up above. Why, your children with sweets and your wife with wine, and they tend not to judge your cooking. <laughs> if you're one of them mainland missionaries, I ain't got time. I'm here to find apples, not God. Ever since the mountain gate fell, some provisions have been hard to find. Whole island's being carved to pieces. Does this mushroom seem off to you? I swear it's given me a dirty look. You should go to the rookery, high above. As a child in Marin Village, my parents told me bedtime stories of Sarum warriors. In a way, the tales of your kind inspired me to something greater than farming. I took up a sword to defend Sacrament. Watching you cut your way through that beast outside the gates, well, I still have a long way to go. Make your way to the rookery. Sacrament welcome Dasha like me. Surely she'll welcome a Serum as well. Head to the Rookery, Serum. The Rookery is just up ahead. You might have carved your way through Dadak's forces near the coast, but the Risen always have something else up their sleeve. Uh, maybe that torn thing you put out of its misery was their doing. Some sadistic scheme. Maybe they're already inside the gates. Good thing my eyes are wide and my wits sharp. Now, move along, get to the rookery. Can't you see I'm on duty? Follow the signs to the rookery. The Watcher will know what to do with you. May your true name never be spoken, Serum. I knew with the Pestilence returned, it wouldn't be long before your kind did as well. We are all soldiers now, in the one true war. The one my mother, and her mother, and her spoke of in whispers. Please. Allow me to enchant your weapons. Or you can enchant your own here. A black door was opened a thousand years ago. Perhaps together we can close it. I may not worship your sayer, but sometimes, deep in an enchantment, I confess I can almost hear the hushed whispers behind the silence. 
I'll say a prayer for you to the Mother, Maker, Seeker, and Forsaken at the Sovine Circle. And another in the mainland's church. Times like these, we can't be picky with our gods. My mother was an enchanter, and hers before. We pass on what we can, but it's like carrying sand. Some always slips away. Always Welcome, young Sprout. I go by Whittaker the Woodcrafter. That's because I craft wood. If an oak takes a century to grow, least I can do is take my time in shaping what we make of it. If I live to be a hundred, think someone make a chair out of me? <laughs> Tell you a secret. I don't work wood. I just listen to it, and it always tells me what it wants to be. All it takes is a pinprick. Believe me, oh, it's insidious. One minute you're a person, the next you're the shambling, screeching torn. Oh, keep your distance. I can feel it. The plague coursing through my veins. I promise you. I know what it was. I brushed against one of those plants in the Marin Woods. Now I can feel it prickling my skin. I'm infected. I am. Hold your breath around me. It's in my legs right now. But it's working its way up. Only a matter of time. This might sound odd, but did God let on say anything about me? He seems to pass by my station often. Could just be his route, or maybe he's going out of his way? God led on cuts a fine figure in his uniform, wouldn't you say? I just appreciate how he carries out his duty. That's it. I hope he appreciates me in return. Me. God merit never meets my eye while talking, but always seems to be watching for me. He's up to no good. Have you seen any suspicious activity at God Merritt Station? Someone smuggling savor into Sacrament, and God Merritt is often on edge when I approach. I'll just have to focus more and more of my attention on God Merritt until I catch him in the act. Rise at dawn, work the fields, home with family in the evening. A simple life, and a boring one too. What if that historian just misread my family tree and it was a mistake to leave the mainland? When I learned I was Darsha, I moved to Sakra to get in touch with my roots. I forgot that roots live in dirt. I don't need four gods. I'm not sure I even need one. Think you got one? Ah, it's just a bit of sewage. Who's that? What are you doing? Can't you see him concentrating? God's reach. That's a serum, Muggles. Look at it. A what? A syrup? No, a serum. One of the outcast warriors of legend? Never heard of them. Don't care. All I see is an ugly sod frightening the fishes. <sighs> there are no fish here. You know it. We ought to go back to the sea. Now that was a proper spot. What? Back to the ship graveyard? The place patrolled by deranged ferals, what breathe poisonous gases. Yes, that's the one. Waters brimming with catch they were. All we have to do is avoid the ferals' territory. The whole bloody place is their territory. I swear you'd be dead five times over if it weren't for me. But I'd have a belly full of fish, wouldn't I? Ship graveyard. They'd be feeding you to the fish sooner than you'd be catching any. Elsworth let the Risen take the old fortress. How long until he surrenders our very homes? Do you see that? That glimmer on the horizon? You know what that is? A new dawn! That's what it is. A new dawn for sacrament. Ask anyone on the street. This city's in the gutter. We might as well be living in the Black Trench. Who can tell the difference anymore? Elra P. Godfrey! That's the name to remember! I'll be governor of Sacrament before you know it! All I need is your help to spread the word! Beset by raiders, pestilence on the rise, outsiders buying up all our property. Sacrament's no place to live anymore. The eyes of the city. Gods, I'm hungry. I'd sell my left hand for a slice of pie. Any kind will do. Maybe with a fat dollop of cream. It was a mistake to skip breakfast. All I had was an apple and a hot cake. 
and two or three sausages. Maybe a nice thick stew for dinner. Potatoes and carrots and chunks of meat, sop it up with a wedge of bread. Mm. Used to keep emergency sweets in my pockets, but those pants are at the tailor's. Don't seem to fit anymore. On alert. If you ever find yourself in battle, just lie under a corpse and smear some blood on your face. Works every time. I'm no hero. I'm a survivor. I like to think of my position as largely symbolic. If any harm were to befall me, it would shake my citizens' confidence. The trick to being a guard is tunnel vision. If you don't see it, then there's no trouble. I've survived longer than any in my unit. Know how? Always station myself at the back of the line. Tip of my hat to the monster you carved up. Just professional respect. Put sacrament bodies neath the dirt even faster than me. <laughs> Oi, you know what this is? It's not a shovel. It's the hand of the devil. Every pat on the dirt sends you closer to hell. <laughs> Aurum gives me stones, I put them in the ground. God gives me corpses, I put them in the ground. Ain't life grand? Huh? Hmm. Do you mind? I weren't talking to you. I'm having a conversation with the worms here. If you kindly move along. Job security. That's what me Paul called it. Not sure what that means. My E says I've got it. <laughs> Be burying you here soon. All of the city's gates are shut. You'll not be visiting the Marin Woods tonight. There's rumors of a torn guard roaming about. One of Sacrament's own, they say. None may pass. The gate is closed, traveler. Best stay inside the city tonight. None may pass. If you make for the rookery. It lies above the town square. I fear it's happening again. Monsters at Sacrament's gates, and the Risen pushing farther south every day. My home, my true home, Kaelin, fell not long ago. Did God spare me just so I could watch it happen here too? The Watcher hails from Kaelin as well, although he left long before I did. I'm... Not sure what you'll find in the rookery. The Watcher has left more than just Kaelin behind. So much past, and so little present. You know, this island is speckled with the ruins of your kind. Like a robin's egg. One I hope to crack open. Serum, Dolsha, nomads, invaders. The dead are stacked high beneath Sacra soil. Please... Do you know what the ancient serum structures were for? Uh, crypts? Altars? Prisons? Strange. How the past is always growing, while the present is never more than a moment. So I'm supposed to believe you're a serum. You may have landed a lucky blow on that beast at our gates. I'll give you that. But anyone claiming to be a legend is usually something else entirely. Wherever you go in this city, I'll be watching. Someone's got to. Maybe you really are, Serum. Maybe you're just playing dress up. Either way, I don't care for it. Don't think I haven't noticed you running about, stirring up trouble. Sacrament's got problems enough as it is. For all I know, the pestilence is your fault. Maybe the best thing for all of us is if you're on the other side of the world. I don't believe what they say about your kind, not for a second. So I think you're the ones writing your own legend. Don't like the look of you. Oh, sheesh, your breath stinks. Why don't you turn your head the other way? Got cut loose by old Bullroth. Would you believe that? Yeah, I used to work there. Cleaned the arena, preening prick. Good riddance. Oh, look at them all. Peasants and thieves. Not an honorable soul in the whole city. Oh, I ought to leave this place. Who are you? Whatever you're selling, I'm not interested. Go on, run. Back to whatever cave you crawled out of. Where were you when the Tone first began to stalk us? 
Where were you when it would have made a difference? The pestilence is already among us, unspoken. You've come too late. We should just open the gates and let them pour in. See who's standing on top of the pyre when the blood dries. This city is at war, make no mistake. Ellsworth doesn't know it yet, but I do. The only safety left is a blade in its sheath. Huh? What? I'm busy. Move along. Sweeping here. Can't you see you're in my way? What the hell is your problem? Some of us work for a living, you know. The hands extra. Have you ever felt fear? Doubt? Longing? Let the hands of God reach inside you and purge these pathetic instincts. I have touched the plane of the all-seeing thing, have you? If your fingers bleed, do not fear. It takes strength to pull yourself up out of the world. The mainland church is a child paddling in the mud, but you and I, we know better. We can climb the stairs toward the dawning sun. We are not meant to walk amongst ourselves, eye to eye with filth and kindness. We are meant to float on clouds of ivory. Come to gaze upon my misery, have you? Feast your eyes upon my festering misfortune. I went to scour the ruins of the east. The realm of the ancient Serum. <laughs> Nothing but death in those mountains now. It was frostbite took my legs in the frozen peaks beyond the dead ships. Venture there and you'll meet your doom, I promise. You'll end up just like me if you venture outside these walls. This whole island wants to eat your flesh. Welcome to our little corner of sacrament. Wretched bunch we are. <laughs> but a family of sorts. They're all I've got anymore. Them, and old Casper here, lost it all to that cursed drug saver. Say, you wouldn't have a drop or two of it on you, would you? Please, spare a few coppers for those who've fallen on hard times. Everyone speaks of the suffering outside our walls, but it knows those of us suffering within them. Even Ellsworth's turned a blind eye to our corner of sacrament. Just because we have nothing, doesn't mean we're not people. Just a few coppers, please. I beg you. I, I can work. I'm good for it. I just need a bit of strength. A war mail to prop me up. Put the fire back in these bones. Please. A killer, eh? Oh, I can smell it on you. I was like you once. Track down raiders and worse anyone who paid. Under their breath, they call me the bloody butcher. <laughs> oh, I confess, I love it. Took a job once that let me take me to the floodlands. I got the bastard too, but not before he nicked me in the arm, splashing about like a dying fish. Didn't think much of it at the time, but that water, uh, it was long before the black rob set in. Lost my arm to no more than a pinprick. Would you believe that? And now I'm here. They don't call me the Butcher no more. They don't call me nothing. Don't think the same can't happen to you, friend. We're all someone in this world. Until we're not. Emma? Peter? Oh, I'm sorry. I have no sight and thought you were my children. They're coming to get me today. Perhaps tomorrow. Should gather my things. Be ready to go when they come to take me home. Please, Traveller, help my baby. They say the sickness took her, but, but she's still here. She just needs food and a warm blanket. I know I can make her well again. My poor, sweet child. She keeps crying. I can't make her stop. Cast the Dasha! God's punishment will destroy all of Atlan. His loyal children will die alongside these filthy Dasha heathens. Cast them and cast them out. 
Alms for the righteous. Death to the Dasha. Do you need any help? I can sew, patch your clothes, I can clean, or cook, or help you carry things. I know my way around the city. Please, just a moment. You met Baron Winnick? <laughs> well, perhaps he could use a new servant. I'll work for just a few coppers, I will. Why? I feel as if I'm at the end of a terribly long bit of string. Dangling from the end and watching it fray. My husband fell when Risen took the old cape. It's just me now. But I, I'm quite capable. I can even speak a bit of Dasha. <coughs> Feeling squeamish? It's all right, it happens. You need a man with a strong stomach and no morals? <coughs> That's me. <coughs> I've seen how they look at you. Yeah, like you just stepped over their mum. We're outcasts, you and me. <coughs> Misunderstood. There's no lock I can't nibble loose. No window I can't wriggle through. <coughs> Got this city wrapped around my finger, I have. <coughs> Once you understand that laws around here are more like... <coughs> suggestions. Your whole world opens up. <coughs> Life is yours for the taking. I don't hear the roaring anymore. They say you killed the creature outside the gates. You don't see monsters like that in Marin. The city's got a pull to it. Like it draws in all the island. The good and the wicked. I only stay as long as I need to. But with those foul brambles in the Marin woods, it's been hard getting home. I come from Marin, just north of here. Brave the woods once a month to trade what we got for what we need. I don't care what the others say. Elves was a good man. He don't treat Estasha like mud to be uh, scraped off a boot. Mainland Church only got one god, can you believe that? <laughs> How's one god alone supposed to look after all this? Smaller every year. The city keeps shrinking. My word, a, a serum? What ship did you arrive on? There haven't been serum on Sakura in... Dear me. Maybe your kind lives in the sea now. That's as far as I've been. What lies beyond the Black Sands, my maps do not know. My name is Jovison Corinth. Explorer by trade and by passion. I've touched every corner of our empire. Fascinating. Fascinating. I've never come across a flesh and blood serum. Did you come from Telos, by chance? Have you been written from the Whispers? Are you my death? No. No, you're really here. A serum in sacrament. So the water was right. You came. But I must introduce myself. I am Elsa, an historian. Tell me, can you feel it? That flickering in the air? I'm convinced this spot is the site of some ancient serum remnant. But it lies just beyond my vision. There are relics of your kind all over Sacra. Another was just discovered in the stonemason shot by the cemetery. You should see it for yourself. Perhaps it's your temple, your library, your tomb. Death is a lost art. People trip in the street, drown in creeks, choke on chicken bones. But your kind perfected the form. That's why I've devoted my life to studying you. Your ruins, your ways, your slaughter. This city was built atop the graves of the ancients. Come find me in the mason shop, and I'll show you just what I mean. The beast outside our gates is a sign of the blasphemy within our walls. I can't imagine what brings you to a sty like sacrament. In Tyr, we live among the clouds. Ellsworth's a fool with his gates and guards. Ice and stone alone have kept Tyr safe for a hundred generations. I have a hint of serum blood too, you know, on my mother's side, eight generations back. Should you find your way to Tyr, Serim, you'll be treated as royalty. We know how to properly revere blood. Sacrament. Such a dreary model. Look at this place. The prosperous and the beggars living side by side. 
It's madness. Seems almost criminal to trade away our silk and steel. But food is hard to come by in the frozen peaks. In Tyr, everyone knows their place. And when the lowers forget, the uppers are always ready to remind them. We try to keep these trading ventures short. I fear if I stay too long, I'll be infected by the lowborn. Hello. Are you looking for a place to live? Well, you, you can't come here to me. <laughs> All my properties are full. Thank you. Do you partake of ale or wine? You strike me as the ale type. Pity. I have a fine Elgarth red sitting at home. I remember when Sacrament was a city on a hill. The beacon of Ashen Sea. Now look at it. I'm almost ashamed to be a lord here. When I bought my first property, I was merely a child. All it takes is grit and savvy, my friend. Grit and savvy. And an ample inheritance. <laughs> I hear you beat me to the monster outside our gates. I was fetching my armor when I <laughs> pulled a muscle. Important to limber up before battle. Hmm. I think I'll head out into the glades and cut down a few plague monstrosities. Tomorrow, Pat. You know, the pestilence should count itself lucky it hasn't breached our gates. Or it would have me to contend with. Would a decent war be too much to hope for? Oh, to be conscripted. Oh, I just wish I had the chance to prove myself. I'd set sail and take the fight to the Risen and Lion's Mound. If not for my... Dreadful seasickness. Stay back! I'll not be pulled into the void today. How many of you have there been? A hundred? Thousand? Your life ends, your story finished. Yet you speak yourself anew. This is not what God intended. I know the workings of your kind. Speaking what should remain unsaid, whispering at the edges of our world. It's unnatural. More and more of them. I've heard them. Ever since you set foot on Sacra. The whispers. Gashes in the sanctity of our world. <laughs> charming. <laughs> Some find it charming. The way you rip apart the world and put it back again. The pestilence is a punishment from God. The Dasha blasphemers bring the plague upon themselves. They refuse to abandon their ancient... Primitive faith. The righteous need not fear the pestilence. It has returned to cleanse the world of wickedness and sin. The mother, maker, seeker, and forsaken. Heresy. There is only one God, and we are all cradled in his many arms. There is smoke on the wind and thunder in the distance. God's righteous fury has arrived. No, you should have never let the Risen take the keep. They were backwater scavengers. Nothing but thieves on the road. You can't still think that. But that's the point. Time was they couldn't mount a horse, let alone an attack like that. It's that, Derek. They say he drives them like wildfire. Hmm, Ellsworth should have burned Lyons bound to the ground when he had the chance. Ellsworth's not a warlord. He's a politician. <laughs> And look where that's got him. Now they're scratching at our door. I heard Odell was on the bridge when it happened. Poor bastard. Aye, Sacrament lost a lot of good soldiers out there. If they ever breach our walls, I'll go down swinging. Mark my words. <laughs> uh. Uh, don't worry, my friend. The pestilence will get us first. <laughs> Onward to the rookery, Seraph. Welcome to Sacrament. The last point of light on this island. Head right if you seek a meeting with the Watcher. Head left if you wish to see what becomes of bandits and traitors. The law must be upheld. Those who deny it always end up in cages. Or at the end of a rope. Carry forth to the rookery high above. I shall be here, ever at my post, the city upon my shoulder. If you're so intrigued by our cages, why don't you hop inside one? A few nights in a cage will cure your curiosity, I promise. Do you see the outfit? The weapon? Where and how I'm standing? 
that's because I'm on duty. Unless Ellsworth sent you, I don't care. Not much respect for us these days. Used to be a guard never paid for a meal in sacrament. Now you're lucky if they let you in the door. I spend my day defending these walls. Least they could do is slip a few extra apples in my shopping, free of charge. Or to just let the Risen sack the place. Then they'd learn a thing or two about respect. When a man in uniform enters the tavern, you'd expect someone to give up a seat. The eyes of the city. You don't scare me, Serum. What are you, drunk? Oh, keep your distance! Or you'll be sobering up all night in a cell. I stand here with the full authority of Captain Randolph and the Sacrament Guard at my back. Stay back. For your own safety, I've got a dangerous weapon. That's close enough. You get one warning, then one lesson, then one gravestone. If you ask me, we've been better off ever since Elias had West Havenport sealed away. Nothing but a soggy slum. They say the silverfish is responsible for every drop of savor in Sakura. Never touched the stuff myself. Nothing compares to the view from high atop our great port wall. Just don't take one step too many, eh? Ah, Havenport ain't so nasty. We just get a bad rap because all the crime, and drugs, and slums, and gangs. The rookery lies just across the bridge. I used to see the watchers sending out his crows every day from my post. Not many of us believed a real Saren would ever respond to his calls, let alone come to Sacra. I haven't seen many crows flying lately, though. I haven't seen much of the Watcher, either. Carry on to the rookery, Sarum. You're nearly there. Oi! Dude! I saw that. Too frightened to look me in the eye, eh? I don't like you, and you don't like me. I hope we meet in Barcelona one day, so I can wipe that smirk off your face. Ha! Huh. I have you know I've bested seven men in mortal combat. And many beasts as well. Large ones, like... Bear-sized. I'll fight you here in the open, but the guards, well, they know my face and my reputation, my unmatched reputation. Oh, how dare you rush a man like that? Weapon at the ready. Do you want to die? Everyone's too scared to say it, but Sakura and Phelan are better off apart. I love the king about as much as a wart on my eyeball. New to sacrament, eh? Look around. You see that there in the mud? Boot prints from Phelan. They're all over this city. Mainland thinks if they let us govern ourselves, the whole island will pack up and leave. That's why they keep Ellsworth on a short lead. Thought you were one of those soldiers from Phelan at first. Another pair of dirty hands to keep the kings clean. Yes, but the Dasha were here first. No, 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 no. That's besides the point. We're talking about great works. Yes, so Catherine Bill's God built sacrament, I understand. But that doesn't change the fact that the Dasha settled Sacra first. The Dasha were thieves and nomads. They found an empty island and they dropped anchor. Where's the surprise in that? I'm not saying there's a surprise. I'm simply saying whether or not they built a castle, Sakura belongs to them. Poppycock, don't make me laugh. The only thing that belongs to the Dasha is three gods too many in a bag of sticks. And the only thing that belongs to Valen is the extra hand up your bum. <laughs> That's blasphemy, you know. <laughs> sort of, you know. I pray to the Almighty no one ever hears the stupid shit we say, my friend. All this charity toward the Dasha gotta come from someone's pockets. Consider mine sewn shut! The more houses Maker Danos builds, the less I can charge for me own. Landlord's gotta eat too, you know. If Ellsworth had any sense, he'd sweep Beggar's Alley clear. Those sorry sods drag down me property value. Send an aide to Marin, sending troops to Havenport. What's next? Taking the food right out of my mouth? You? Oh! A horrible death awaits you. 
It trails you like a shadow. Dark deeds swirl around you, stranger. I can see them. I have the gift of insight and outsight. Do you wish to know more? Morietta the Touch, that's my name. I know what awaits you, but the secrets of the unspoken realm are not given freely. The Sayer tells me that you, you are of royal upbringing. You are from the West, no? The North. Be still, it's coming to me. That's right. I hear the words and whispers beneath all things. I was taught by the Seren, a mystical race, now all but extinct. Beyond this gate lies the nameless pass. But the way is shut tonight, on Ellsworth's orders. We've been told there's some kind of monstrosity lurking outside one of the gates. But if you want to go this way, you'll have to come back another day. Thank you.